Hey there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse position, followed then by the Ten of Swords upright. And next, we have Major Arcana Death card in the upright, followed then by the Three of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the King of Cups in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Cancer, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. Ten of Cups upright, this is the ultimate feeling of emotional... It's like the height of emotional feeling good, you know, when we're really, really feeling excellent. It's that feeling you get, you know, when you could be, say, at a family reunion or you're having fun with the people that you love the most in your life and you're all getting together maybe for a wedding or a family picnic or something and everybody's getting along and dancing and having a good time and that love that you just feel you know emanating from you and from everyone else it's that kind of energy now when the card is inverted like this this can sometimes represent because it is associated with home and family it can sometimes represent someone in the family or maybe even someone in the home might be caught like taking away a little bit of your joy there could be something going on there anything from perhaps something happening in your um, in your home itself that sort of taking away the joy maybe there's a a problem a technical problem in the house or something like that but it could also be that there is someone in the household that is causing a little bit of upset and or in the family or at a family gathering so you've got that it's still good energy but just not as good as if it were in the upright position. Now, I can certainly see why, because we've got the Ten of Swords here in the your first card in the read, uh, coming right off the hop. The Ten of Swords represents sort of like that last straw. This can be where you're dealing with someone, could be a family member, could be a friend, could be even a relationship. And it's just sort of like the last straw where you cannot take it anymore. The Ten of Swords is like, this is, this is the end. Tens represent the ending. It's like, I do not want to take this situation any further, any, any longer. It could be for some of you in the workplace or, like I said, a family member, friend, or any uh, person or situation you're dealing with. It's just sort of like the, the straw that breaks the camel's back kind of situation and it's paired up with major Canada death card in the upright position the scorpio card this is all about death and rebirth and transformation it's about the phoenix rising from the ashes so i think whatever is going on here because the death card can represent a need to transform an area of your life or your relationship but death card can also represent endings in order to start new beginnings. With the Ten of Swords being here, as well as the Death card following it, it looks like it might be the end of a situation for you, um, Cancer. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be in any area of your life. It could be with uh, a friendship. It could be with a work situation. It could be in any area of your life. Take it as it applies to you. But there does look like there's a last straw with a situation where it's just like, I can't take any more of this particular situation. So I need to either completely transform it or put an end to it. And I don't see it taking too long for you to heal. The good thing is Three of Swords is also here, your next card, but it's in the reverse position, indicating whatever it is that happened, I think you get over it pretty quickly. It could be one of those things where you sense it, you know it's coming and you just cut the cord quickly and it's over and done with and you start moving on and start to heal like almost immediately from the situation. And the last card you have up is the uh, King of Cups in the upright position. This is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, it could be that this person comes in to sort of help you stabilize your emotion. But remember, you are water. This could just be you coming up in your own reading in the upright. That's a good sign, Cancer, that your emotions have completely stabilized after this situation. It looks like something has been destabilized, but it was for the best um, in the end because you end up healing from the situation and feeling more emotionally on stable ground. So that is your reading, Cancer. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.